Okay, so we're gonna be running this experiment with a little help. So today with me I have Benny the Great. And we're gonna be using a tape measure stopwatch and a tennis ball. Okay, so we will be dropping a tennis ball from the second story. But first, we're gonna measure the distance. Okay, so now we're up here and we've ran this experiment a couple times. We found it easier that the person who's actually dropping the ball is going to be recording it with the stopwatch. So real quick, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna be dropping it from. As you can see, the tape measure is straight down. Oh, there you go, straight down, no bends and all. And we're gonna be dropping at 160 inches. The reason why we chose 160 inches is, as you can see, my arm is uh, held out horizontally and reaches the 160 inch mark. So that's making it real simple to drop. So, we got our trusty tennis balls here. That little tennis ball holder. And we're gonna record the first drop. So, three, two, First drop is 87 milliseconds, or 0.87 seconds. We're gonna do three drops, keep our experiment accurate. Resetting the stopwatch. Okay. Three, two, one. 84 milliseconds. I kinda accidentally hit it a little too early, but 84 milliseconds. The reason why we're doing three is so we can average these times and to find out the speed of accelerate, or the velocity, or no, I'm sorry, the change in velocity, change in speed, acceleration. Third drop, three, two, one. 88 milliseconds, there you have it.